Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? So, last time we got this done over here, we got all... Ooh, look, incoming! Okay, so, uh, yeah, we've obviously got our big base to the south, that's still giving us a load of attacks. It's a bit annoying not being able to run around those things, but anyway, so yeah, we got a big attack coming in from the south constantly, and we've also got attacks now coming from over here, but I've got some turrets down, so that's taking care of that. Uh, last time we upgraded all of our furnaces down through here, which means that now if you have a look up through here, we've got a continual stream of iron plates, which also means that we're producing the uh, inserters. They're being piled up down through here, and everything is working exactly as intended and as we wanted. So I've now got an oil derrick down here, and I have another one up here. This one is working, this one isn't yet. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to start our oil operation. So let me just zoom in here a little bit. And first of all, I want some more power poles. Right, I can make some small ones. And I can make one bigger one at the moment. Right, well, I'm going to make all ten of these. Uh, okay, I'm going to do this first. Um, right, what I want to do is I want to get this one, Advanced Oil Processing. That takes a science pack, but it's absolutely fantastic because we can unlock those there. So that one is going to be done very, very soon. We can get the electric furnace if we unlock that. Solar energy is going to be brilliant. Laser. That's the one that I really want, I think. We'll get the laser. That will unlock the laser turrets, and those are brilliant for slightly later on in the game. This one is going to be good when we start getting trains, the inserter item stack. Um, but we won't be doing trains just yet. That's going to be a little bit later on. So now we've got an extra line down here. This is going to be invaluable now. So I will make ten of those. And come on, come on, come on. Hurry up. In your own time. There we go. Right. Uh, let me plonk. Oop. Okay, I'll put one there. There, right. So now that one is operating. Operating? Operational. Um, the pipe is slowly filling up with crude oil. And if you have a look here, at the moment the expected resources on the right-hand side of the screen, at the bottom there, it's got, uh, well, halfway down, They've got the pump jack description, and it says 0.8 per second. That will slowly lower down until we have drained most of the oil there. And then it will go down to, and this one here is at 0.7 per second. And that will eventually get all the way down to 0.1 per second. And I think that 0.1 is where it stops lowering. And it will go continuously, it will go forever at 0.1. But that's, so, I didn't want to run all the way down here just yet. I wanted to make some more pump jacks. So, we've got one two, three, four pieces of oil down here as well. We don't have any others. I can't see any more around. So I need another four pump jacks. And then we also want, um, we're going to need a chemical plant in a bit. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to want the oil refinery. And we could also use then some storage tanks. So I want a whole load of iron plates. And I want some... I want the oil refinery there, I'm going to need a load of steel as well, I'm going to want some stone bricks, um, electrics and so on. I got the electric because I got the copper plates. So what we need is we need iron and steel. So let's go and get a load of iron and steel a minute. Can't really run around any faster at the moment, we can get vehicles later on. Uh, let me just go up here. Right, um, oh yeah, I've got everything on steel furnaces now, so let me take 200 plates from there and then I will also run... I will get stuck actually up against here. There we go. And here I've got 96 steel plates at the moment. They're just going to go slowly. That's just, just going to work through them steadily. Um, we have got loads of iron coming in through here. More than we need, I think. It's going to slowly fill up. Everything should just keep flowing steadily there. Right. So I want to make pump jacks. Let me start making. I want another four. So one, two, three, four pump jacks. I then want an oil refinery, and I don't have enough now for a chemical plant, and I'm going to need that in a minute. I also want storage tanks. Let me get some more iron. Have I got any more iron in here? Right, i got 90. Why is this one not working? Oh, because it's got a full 100 in there. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's go in here. That one's empty, uh, full. Empty, rather. Yeah, and so is that one. So this one here just fills up because there's no room for the iron to come out on that side. Uh, I'll take another small stack there, and those. Right. Should be enough. So I've got some storage tanks now. I want at least two of these. And then I'm going to also want at least one chemical plant to start with. Possibly more. But we start, well, we'll get one to start with, and we'll work on that. Um, 
I'm going to need some offshore pumps. And then I'm going to need uh, pipes. If I make... i got six of those. I'll make another two of them. And then I'll make a whole load of those pipes as well. Right, so while all that is building... One thing that you can get later, I haven't actually done it on... where I'm, You know, I said it was playing on ahead. I haven't actually done it on there either. Um, is you get the robotics and they start building stuff for you. You put it all into chests and they, they just kind of do the whole job for you. Which is absolutely awesome. Uh, it's something that I would like to get later. And as soon as I'm able to, I will start sort of experimenting with it. And then we can hopefully incorporate it into this Let's Play as well. Um, so let me just run these out like this there. So I've got power here. If I move this around a little bit, we have to come back up here, there, like that. Uh, right, well that'll do for now. Right, so we've got the lasers, which means we've got the laser turrets unlocked there. And I'll research those now. Let's put those away. I want some light. Let's get a little bit of light going in here. Uh, one there, one there. You can always move these around later. I don't think you get any bigger lights. I don't think you get anything brighter than this. I think this is it as far as lights go. Um, now, my pump jacks. I've got two pump jacks so far. There's a third one just about to be made. You've got to make sure that you get them pointing in the right direction. I'm going to have that one out there. I think that's going to be 1.8 per second to start with, which is a huge amount of oil, really. Uh, that one is going to go in this side, except that I'm in the way. There we go. This one will do the same way. That's 0.9 per second. That one up there is 2.2. That's a huge amount. And that one is 87% yield. I don't know what that sort of equates to. We'll just wait for this pump jack. Well, while I'm waiting for that one, let's get some more pipe. And oh, I haven't actually got any pipe. I'm waiting on the pipe as well. Uh, come on, come on. Hurry up, hurry up. So I've got a nice little run down here. Let's just have a zoom out and see how the bugs are doing to the south. Come on down here. There we go. Yeah, so once I get a tank, I'll be able to unlock it. I'll be able to sort of go in after these, because these worms, they're like um, the bug turrets. And you can't really get close enough. You might be able to do it with a laser turret. You could put a laser down right on the edge of their range. Um, and then you've got to sort of try and repair the laser while the laser is taking down the worm. It's, um, it's a com long and complicated process, but it can be done. It can be done. So if I put that one over there... Actually, I'm going to put that one up there like that. I think that's how we're going to do it. So this one is going to be 0.9 per second. That one is 1.8. That one is 2.2. And that one is 0.9. So the next thing that we need is a um, oil refinery. So this is going to run direct into an oil refinery. And then after the oil refinery, this, the bits that we get coming out of there, that is what we're going to be putting into storage tanks and into the chemical plant. So I'm going to get this oil refinery and we put them, put them down here. He can go fairly close. I don't actually want to store the crude oil. That can just sit in the pipe and it will just wait. So I'm going to put that one there, like that. Oh, now we've got the pipes coming in. This is more like it. Uh, oh no, it's still making those. It's still making these at the moment. Let me cancel that one. Right, so now that i got these pipes here, I want to put uh, like this. Now... That one will go into there, and that's going to start filling that one up. And that will go into there, and it'll start filling up. This one will bring him out, and he's going to go up this way. And then across over to here, like that. And then that one is going to come down and join in. So we've got all of them feeding into one pipe, which is then going to come over here, down, and connect into there. And I'm also just going to feed it and connect it into that one, just because I can. So... This one is going to do basic oil processing, which takes 10 crude oil and it will give us 3 heavy oil. You can't actually mouse over it. 3 light oil and 3 petroleum. Now, the heavy oil and the light oil, they're something that we can't really do a lot with at the moment. That we, w we will be using them later, but right now it's the petroleum that we want. These two, we're going to put those into storage. So I'm going to just... Which way around shall I put these? If I put one of those, I'll move that one up like this. It's, it's important that you get these in the right places to start with because um, otherwise you end up having to move them around. And the problem with trying to move these around once um, you've started is 
you lose everything that's in them. You cannot pick up a pipe and hold the oil or, any, or the petroleum or anything like that in, you know, on your person. You cannot do that. Uh, which makes the game a little bit more interesting because if you pick it up, you've lost everything that's in there. And this stuff is really valuable. It's really important to the later game. Uh, so what have we got? Laser turret shooting speed. That'll increase that one. Oh, that's just 50 of those. That's a really good one. So we'll get that. Laser turret shooting speed. And we're going to introduce some laser turrets down the bottom in a minute. Or in a little while, anyway. And this one here, this one's going to come out to the south. Um... I'll put that one there like that. So what we're going to need for this is I want this one. I'm not going to make solid fuel. I'm not interested in that. If we want to make sulfur, we need petroleum, gas, and water. If we want to make sulfuric acid, we need sulfur, iron plates, and more water. So this, and if we want plastic, it's coal and petroleum gas. To start with, um, we want plastic, but we also want sulfuric acid because we want to make batteries. And I'll show you what I mean, because if you come up here... We've unlocked it now. We need a battery, we need an advanced circuit, and we need a smart inserter. Okay, the advanced circuit needs plastic, and then the battery, obviously that is going to need the... that needs the sulfuric acid. So we've got to get both of them out of the solid fuel, which is, is going to slow things down a little bit. But first of all, we're going to go for plastic because we can. So I got the sulfur coming in, not the sulfur, the petroleum gas. Oops, let's go a bit closer. Right, petroleum's going in there. That one can't do anything for a second because it's got no power, so let's just do that. Give it a bit of juice. So that one now is waiting on coal. So now we need to go to our coal field and bring a line of coal down to this burner. Uh, we've got... Actually, we're running a bit low on coal, to be honest. We need to we need to address that. This one, oh yeah, that's why this one here has run out. So the, oops, there we go. The beds are empty. So let me just remove that one, and we take our miner here. If I move, actually, I want to put it there. That's going to cover as much as possible, like that. So I'll remove that one. See where the green is. That's what we that's what we're going to be covering. So if I put that where the green is there. The other might actually. I'm going to move it down just a little bit closer because then I can get it in a straight line. I'm I'm very obsessed about getting everything into a straight line when I put these together. So that's just that's just me. That's just the way that I operate. It's it's a little oddity that I have. I think I may have mentioned it before. Actually, you probably also find that I tend to repeat myself a lot. Hmm. Right. Anyway, moving swiftly on. Um, I want to get coal down here. So what we're going to need is a long line of conveyor belts and an inserter. I'm going to pop an inserter down here. Like this, uh, flip him round and put him there. And then I'm going to have a transport belt, flip that one round and run straight south. Now, I'm going to need iron plates a little bit. I might set up a miner on there and have just a line of iron plates coming off of that one. I need to go and get some uh, belts anyway. Let's go and get those. I need a whole lot. I've got a chest full of them over here now. Remember we set this one up? So... I've got as many as I could possibly want. So I'm going to grab a whole load of those because I'm going to be running a whole load of belts around in a minute. Uh, I think I've got enough of those for a minute. That's the stone bricks. Now, if we take a look, I'm just going to want to run straight south for a minute. And while I'm running, let me make uh, one, two, three of those so that I can nip underneath that if I need to. And pop that onto there and run straight south. So this is going to bring our coal straight down here. Now, I don't know if I can run a, um, oops, a long belt, one of these, the underground belt. I don't know if it will run all the way underneath this. <laughs> Not quite. Okay, let's pick that one up. And if I bring it in this side and down here is where we're going to run. So pop that one down, pick you up. Uh, a little bit further there, and now down here. Oh, we got another one. Right, so I can go laser turret shooting speed again. I don't think there's anything that does a uh, laser turret damage upgrade. That would be really good. I don't think there is anything that increases the range of the laser turrets. The engine is priceless because that will give us the engine unit. Um, we can make the electric unit, and that unlocks railways. Um, 
energy distribution gives us a substation and the accumulator gives us the accumulator which we kind of want to be able to work in with solar panels when we come to build a solar field and we will we'll build a great big solar field so that we're not reliant on steam engines and coal in order to provide all of our power takes a little while to set it up and get it right though uh right let's pop that one there so that is going to bring the coal down here before i do that let me just run back up i wish there was a way to run faster i really do just run back up here and get this one with some power so it starts putting coal onto our belt right that's going to run that's actually that's perfect that's going to run onto that side and so i'll be able to set up some iron plates coming from here through a furnace and onto the belt there so that we can make our uh, batteries i think it is so let me come down here and plate one two three and then i'll rotate that one here it's gonna come this way rotate again oops Okay, let's do a little squiggle then. There we go. A little squiggle. Looks very cool. And what am I looking for? I want an inserter. I actually, I've got loads of inserters making, but I haven't actually got any here. I've got burner inserters, but I don't want to use those anymore. Um, oh, it's, it's making them like, there we go. Right, inserter there. I'll put that one around. So that one's now going to put coal in, and that's going to start making the plastic bars. And it actually makes them really quickly. And if you have a look, this pipe has got 10 petroleum gas in it all the way up through. This pipe here is just about empty. And we've then got a tank of heavy oil, a tank of light oil. They can take, I think it's 2,500 each. Uh, but we can add more tanks on to those as and when we need them. And then later on, we can turn some of it into fuel blocks, some of it into lubricants. And um, we can also break it down so we can convert some of it into petroleum as well. But for the moment, I want to have just an inserter there. And then I want to put a little chest. Let's take that chest there. Put that one there like that. And that one there. Right, so that is going to feed uh, plastic bars straight into that chest. And it's going to run and use up the petroleum gas to do it. Now, the other thing that we wanted petroleum gas for is to make sulfur we need three water and three petroleum gas and then we need iron plates and sulfur to make um the yeah to, to make sulfuric acid now so what i'm thinking is if we split another pipe off of here and run it down um we can use both of them and how shall i do this so that is going to just run through there we've got quite a bit of oil coming in this is all full it's all full of oil here so it's it's coming along at quite a nice rate, and that is going to fill those tanks up fairly quickly as well. I want to get the iron plates down so that I can start... I want to do sulfur first. Water, petroleum, gas to make sulfur. Right, so what we'll do is we'll split a pipe off of here. That's going to come out this way. And we've run out of pipes. And I've probably run out of iron plates as well. I can do 29. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's go and get some more iron plates a second. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start making the next line of them, which will enable us to get the batteries going. And what are the batteries? Once, now we've got the plastic, we get the batteries as well, and that's going to let us um, I'll take all of those. And have we got any in here? Yeah, we've got a few building up. The batteries and the, um, the electric plates. This is basically... We want to unlock the blue science packs. That's going to be our next um, project. We want to get those blue science packs. And then we'll start looking at getting the robotics and stuff like that afterwards. So first of all, uh, I'm going to move this out a little bit and then bring it down. Because I want enough space in here to be able to set up a conveyor belt for moving that plastic out. So run that down there like that. Uh... Yeah, and then I'm going to run it in. I'm going to put one there, and I'm going to actually put one of these and pipe it up again, just so that I've got a little gap here. A little gap is going to be quite useful. Um, right, before I do that, I want to make another chemical plant. That's going to be the next thing. I'm going to need two of them, actually. I need more steel now. Um, well, let's, let's get this first. Actually, I'll run up and get steel while that one's making. And once we've got the steel, 
robots. This is what we're going to need. We want the robots because when you go to build something, if you haven't got it on your person, the robots just fly off and get it. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, so we will be using those. Advanced oil processing takes 75 of the blue science packs. These um, unlock robotics. Effect transmission is one of the things we need for the rocket silo. Circuit networks. This is where things get complicated is putting these in. It's kind of like a, almost like a redstone if you're a Minecraft player. It's just kind of like redstone, but um, much more complicated. Um, the fast belts. Those are really good. We can use, them, use those as defense as well. They're absolutely fantastic. Um, help defend your base. Uh, let me grab all of that steel. There is so much that this game has got to offer. There is so much stuff you can do in this game. Um, it just sort of, uh, every time you think you get in there, you unlock a new layer of complexity, which just adds to the just awesomeness of this game. Right, now, we've caught, this one has caught up with everything that this one is producing, so I'm not sure how well we're going to be able to, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's waiting. So I'm thinking, if we have another chemical plant, it is going to work. I haven't actually tried putting two of them together like this. This is a new one for me. Um, I'm going to put that one over a, yeah, I want to put that one in line with that one there, I think, like that, and then if I bring a pipe there and a pipe there, I now need to go and get some water, we've got water just here, so I want this uh, offshore pump that I made, I'm going to, um, where can I put that one, I can put that one there, and then have pipe here, I'm going to move it over a bit and then down, and then I want the underground pipes to take it from here. I'm going to have to make a... let me just make a few more pipes while we're waiting. Uh, where are they? There. Right, 270. Right. That's loads. I'm going to make 70 pipes. Put that one there. Run him down as far as he'll go. Up and down again. And then to here like this. Now if I go to the pipe and move it sideways, I'll do another underground pipe here so that it's not going to be interfering with anything that we want to do. Uh, there. Right. Take the pipe, run that in like this and down. Now have a look in here, and now this time I want to make sulfur. I need water, petroleum, gas to make sulfur. So that one's going to make that. It's got plenty of water going straight in, that's fine. And now I'm going to need um, power. That's it. That's, that's everything that I need. So I just want some power. Um, let me run up a little bit. There we go. And there. Right. That's making sulfur. So I'll take the sulfur out of there. And I've got my alarm going off now. Um, let me just stop it. So this is coming to the end of the episode. I just want to... Actually, if I put this one around this side. Like that. There. And that's going to go straight on to a conveyor belt. You rotate that round. There is other products that we also need sulfur for. Um, if we have a look in here, what else do I need sulfur for? Not the solid fuel. There was something else I was using sulfur for. I can't remember what it is now. Sulfuric acid. Um, you know, I don't remember. There was... Oh, I know what it was. Uh, I haven't unlocked it yet. It's making explosives. You use sulfur to make explosives. Um, oh, we've actually taken damage down here. So they are getting f closer to the wall. I'm going to introduce some laser turrets here into these gaps where we didn't actually have room to put the inserters and so on. That we'll do in the next episode as well, I think. Uh, advanced material processing that unlocks, uh, allows us to unlock concrete and it gives us electric furnace. Lab efficiency. Right, let's do the solar array. What do we want? Flammables. Oh, so much choice. There's so much choice. All right, let's do the laser upgrade. We'll do that one. Do the laser damage upgrade. So we've got the sulfur coming down here. I'm going to have to finish this in the next episode. Um, we'll bring iron plates down through here so that we can put those into a battery factory, which is going to be the next thing in this line. Um, that will be producing us batteries, and we've got plastic here, which is halfway towards making our science pack. We can do the batteries. We, we can make the advanced circuits. And then we've got to set up a smart inserter and steel circuit. So we've got to try and get the whole lot combined and then get blue science packs going up to our research station up here. Um, not an easy task, but I think we can do it. I hope we can do it. Uh, not our, our research station is up the top, so we've got to sort of transport everything from here all the way up to the top. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, folks. 
if you would like to help me out, then head down below and give the uh, video a nice big thumbs up, like if you can. And if you really enjoyed it, please tell your friends about it. That is going to help me out immensely. This is Frithgar. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye and see you later.